Hi everybody, I'm Jack. This is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, well, just running around last couple of days here on the mountain, um, trying to get things packed, figuring out what still I'm going to get rid of, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyway, probably by the time I've gotten a little bit ahead, so by the time you see this video, I might actually be in the States, or it might be my travel day. I'm not real sure yet, but um, yep, just enjoying this last little bit of time here, although it is kind of hectic uh, getting everything together. Anyhow, I wanted to talk today about sharing the raw vegan um, and plant-based information in general with people. Um, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that subscribe button now and click on the little bell and check send notifications so you will stay subscribed to the channel. Um, this is a topic with me. Now, this is, I'm talking about, I'm kind of giving tips for in real life, and um, when I'm talking about how I do things, I'm talking about um, how I do it like personally, you know, person to person, obviously not my channel um, because I share a lot differently when I'm uh, just talking to people, whether they're friends of mine, acquaintances, or, um, you know, just people that I run into that I um, want to share some of this uh, information with. And what I really try to do is I do my best to kind of figure out and discern what the best approach is going to be with each person, what's going to resonate with each person. To be quite honest, I don't really talk about or share too much of the of, about raw vegan when I'm out and about talking to other people, talking to people you know that are eating the standard American diet, um, talking to people that aren't vegan, aren't plant based, have never even remotely considered that. Um, because I don't know, I just everybody's different, and there's a certain approaches I believe are just going to resonate with people um, a lot more. Uh, you know, listen, a plant-based lifestyle is so, is so foreign, is so different than most people have lived anyway, you know, um, that have eaten the standard American diet for the good portion of their lives. Um, you know, some of us, um, like, like myself, for instance, uh, didn't come to this lifestyle until I was 47 years old. So there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of uh, history there. There's a lot ingrained into people. So what I'm getting at is when you're even approaching somebody um, uh, talking health-related matters um, about plant-based, that's going to be shocking enough to a lot of people, much less um, the raw vegan aspect of it and eating all your food raw. Now, in this video, like I say, I'm talking mainly the reasons and, and sharing things from um, uh, the health aspect of it. But also, too, it's good to have that stuff reinforced. You know, you can kind of reinforce, you can kind of hit, I say you hit people with a one-two punch, you hit them with the you know, a lot of people are going to get attracted first by the health aspect of it, and that's okay. But, and I've mentioned this about my story a lot of times, let's start helping them make that ethical connection, the connection with the animals, the connection with the planet as soon as possible. Because when it's just for our health, you know, you might decide to move on to the next thing or whatever. But um, when you really see that connection and there's other things involved other than just your body and your well-being, um, that reinforces it and sometimes makes it even easier to do a plant-based uh diet, lifestyle, however you want to call it. So, But mostly this is from the health aspect of it and sharing that information in that way. Um, and yeah, I'm mostly talking about plant-based. You know, I and, and you know, it's like to, uh, not that I share face-to-face -face a lot in the, where I'm from in the States, but I do know types of people and I have shared with certain people, um, you know, that I'm, that I know or that are, that I know personally. And I just know that that raw vegan thing, it's just not going, it's not going to take. Most people know, and like I kind of even downplay that a lot of times, you know, when I'm, when I'm sharing with people, it's all about vegan, plant-based, plant-based, plant-based. Um, I, I try to share things like forks over knives. Um, I finally got around to, you know, watching What the Health last night. Great, great show, but it gives a little bit more of a, you know, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to use that word. Sometimes to the outside world, the whole raw vegan thing can just be a little too culty, can be, a, can look a little too extreme to people that have not even started understanding um, anything about just eating a natural plant-based diet. So I like to share things like that, like with a lot of people that have never, um, that aren't, you know, aren't plant-based, have probably never even considered plant-based, that are probably ingrained with a lot of traditional 
ideas about food, um, health, uh, illness, disease in general, I like to point them in the direction that I think will be the most effective. And that is things like, what the health? Forks over knives. I like to share that, I, you know, I gave one copy away of that Forks Over Knives magazine that I bought three months ago. And I'm looking forward to picking up some more while I'm in the States. So things like that too, because you know, you've got good recipes in there and it shows, it's not so extreme looking like, you know, some of our food might look to the outside world at times. It's just good practical stuff in that uh, magazine, that Forks Over Knives magazine that I have, there's probably 150 uh, good recipes in there. Um, and these types of people, they, you know, and you're talking to a world that comes from like, you know, putting a doctor up on a pedestal, listening to the, uh, you know, listening to these uh, organizations that tell you what health should be, even like uh, the food groups and all the pyramid and all that kind of stuff. You've been ingrained with a lot of brainwashing for years. So it almost helps making that transition over to having those same sort of authority figures to kind of get like giving you this information. That's why I love to refer people to, um, you know, doc, Dr. Esselstein, um, uh, Dr. Greger, uh, what's his name? Is it Garth Davis? Garth, Dr. Garth Davis. And just a lot like, you know, like people that can give really good scientific explanations of this stuff. And they kind of talk in the non-flowery terms and they just give information, you know. It's uh, like I say, it's just all about, it's not about us. It's not about proving how smart we are. It's not about proving like, oh, raw vegan is the superior diet. It's about getting more people, getting more of this life-saving information in the hands of people. Because as I was watching that, that movie last night, What the Health, and I was watching it mostly from a, st a sharing standpoint and just wanted to be able to talk about it a little bit. Um, you know, I'm already sold on the lifestyle, but it's a really good show because it's showing the it's showing what behind is behind all these industries, what drives all these industries, and the reasons we have been taught to eat like we do, think like we do. And there's some good hard facts in there. People, you know, people might still not do it, but it's harder to refute the facts, you know, when you're talking about just straight up science plant-based facts as opposed to some of the, the deeper, more le deeper level, you know, raw vegan stuff. So, you know, think about that. Um, and another thing too is, how am I gonna say this in a uh, kind of diplomatic way? If you're new to this lifestyle, share accordingly. Like I think sometimes people are just a little too over enthusiastic when they come to this lifestyle, just like people are when they're new with anything. You know, the new convert, the new zealot is the most rabid one, especially in the beginning. But listen, and, and like I say, let me say this gently. If you have a, a lot of people out there, I see them and they keep trying to be, and they actually want to preach a raw vegan message to their family and friends. And quite frankly, they haven't, they're not showing any results. They don't look like they, they haven't gotten that vibrant health yet. Or, you know, they might, sometimes when it can come to hurt you and it can come, it can hurt you with sharing with others is people that just kind of keep dabbling with it like we've talked about you know like you keep doing it you're doing it and you're doing it you've been trying to do raw vegan for a couple of years well let's i mean just be honest think about the mentality of others out there well i don't see them getting that much out of it that's what they're thinking is well i see so and so and they keep talking 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 about this lifestyle i don't see them really uh, getting all that much out of it oh and they can't they can't do it they keep struggling and i you know but they keep telling me i need to do it Whereas somebody I think has a more effective uh, sharing, they're more effective in sharing when you've started to see the results. You know, you, when your family starts seeing, you know, whether you need to gain weight, lose weight, whatever, when the body starts, you know, kind of finding its set point, the eyes clear out, you know, people can start seeing it. Um, uh, what they can see speaks volumes louder than what, they, than what you're actually telling them. Um, so, you know, get the results yourself. Be an example. Don't beat people over the head with it. I really think, and even in my, even in my just day-to-day -day life, it's not just on the channel, with not having this dogmatic approach and just being like, nope, you have to do this, oh, and jumping into every conversation that has, that's related to food. People know me, I can just like tell them what I do, I can tell them my thoughts on food, and then I, I'll drop it and I can walk away. 
and that intrigues people a little bit. And I think I've been effective to some people, even just in my day-to-day -day life, or maybe not in my day-to-day -day physical present, but people that are actual real friends of mine or that I've known before online, that just see what I'm doing day after day after day. I have friends that write me every once in a while and say, I've seen what you've been doing and I've been eating like this. And I'm like, wow. And I just think that's a much more effective way to share. Show people, don't tell people show people don't tell people and if you will just put your head down and keep doing what you're doing keep doing what you're doing learn get the results um, people are going to notice that we can't listen no matter how much you want your friends to be healthy your family to be healthy no matter how much you love the animals and the planet and want to save the animals and the planet you cannot beat people over the head with this message. That aggressive in your face is just really counterintuitive. Um, so just think about it in a lot of different ways. Just, you know, as you're sharing a um, message related to this health, just think about not what, not like sometimes it's our ego too. Now, don't try to show people how much you know. Um, think about what is going to be the most effective method to maybe share this lifestyle to interest somebody in wanting to do this lifestyle because that's what it's all about in the end. But anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you again tomorrow. Peace.